Don't worry, mate. Puppy dog can't get you. Morning. Go. It's a fantastic way to go. Yeah, Come on. Can you wave bye-bye, Caleb? Oh. No, you're too scared of the puppy dog, aren't you? No. Oh, yes, puppy dog does have a ball. Got a ball. Yeah, dog has a ball. Morning. Well, that's a proper way of getting them around. It's a great way to get around. Very great way, very great. Do you have two in there at times? Uh, we can get three in, so two in the back and one in the front. Does it make it difficult for riding? Is it um, heavy or...? Oh, look, it's not a light bike. So you but, wouldn't be going up the hills, would well, you? Well, actually, I work at the top of a hill. Oh, um, so coming down is good. Sorry? Do you push up with the... Yeah, no, I, well, the, I drop the kids out at uh, a childcare down by Flinders Medical oh. Centre and then I ride up to the back of Flinders. No, I don't. I'd say it'd be a bit hard with two or three kiddies in. It would be quite hard going up the hill. Yeah, and you can get an electric cool. assist version, which would be better for that. But yeah. I don't need it at the moment. At so. the moment, no. And, and that's a great exercise. I think that's wonderful. No, yeah. brilliant. And we get to yak her away while we... Yeah. Wander along, so it's yeah, good. Yes, and that's right. It's nice along here, of course. It is. You gonna wave bye bye, Caleb? Oh, well, well done. Yeah, bye bye. Well, but you enjoyed. Aren't you lucky they widened this side? You'll uh, never have got around on the old one. No, um, it would have been quite hard. You used to be able to still get. Well, can still get through the one down at uh, yeah, at Marion Train to Station. Up to, up to there. Because yeah. I remember someone one day trying to get a tandem through. Yes. And they couldn't. They had to sort no. of lift it over somehow. But I mean, but so I thought, well, that was one advantage of widening this. That's right, and if I'm uh, clever enough, I can actually get around without having to lift the back at all, but uh, the easy way is you sort of do about a seven-point turn and just yeah. sort of swing the back around a, yeah. a couple of feet. That's fair enough, yeah. Yep. Okay. No worries, enjoy the lovely day. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. Good boy, matey. Yeah. Pizza is a good way to carry stinky things because you can put the tarp in and uh, load it up. And then once you take the tarp out at the other end, there's nothing left in there to smell bad, and you don't have to worry about stinking your car out for weeks on end. Okay, they're open now. This is good. See whether they uh, give us a green light to go through. Uh, okay, we're 160 kilos loaded up today. See if they uh, give us a green light. Can't see anyone in at the till. Christmas holidays, so they may not have too many people working. Oh, just waved us through. Uh, play pit sand is what we want. Boop. Okay, Mr. Moo. Yeah. Sand. <laughs> Do you need to stay in, matey? Because it's a bit dangerous for a little person to be on the loose here. What we might do. But. Yeah, I'm going to put some in one bucket. 
Okay, there you go. There's one bucket for you here. I'll put that next to you. Move your spade. Okay, here you go. And you can use your spade and put it in the other bucket. Okay? You do that? <laughs> Good work, mister. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting sand for our sand pit too. There's one bucket. In there. Give it more space. Help if I didn't carry everything in the bike. Yep, you keep shoveling, mate. Here's another bucket. And a little bucket. Okay. Yeah. Put this one in the back. Oh, you'd like it in the front with you, would you? Okay, can I can I fill this one up for you too? Then you shuffle across, and I reckon we can put a bucket next to you on either side. More. Okay. Here. Is there room for an extra bucket next to you? Yeah. Good work. Okay. And there's your spade. You can put it from one bucket to the other. That looks like a fun way to do it. Now the bike will be a little bit heavier. Howdy, how you doing? You don't really go riding one of these bikes if you're shy. Well, you can. Lots of people say hello anyway. Back onto the way bridge. So it actually handles pretty well with the extra weight in because the centre of gravity is so low. Okay, helmet off. Okay, you wait there, little man. Back in a minute. Okay, 40 kilos of play pit sand for $1.75. Probably just more than that in petrol to drive here. This is a much more fun way to do it. Look at you. you! Don't get to play sand pits in the car, do you, mate? <laughs> yeah, pat, pat, pat. Yep, yeah, pat, pat, pat. <laughs> You're a funny sausage. Okay, through the skinny bit. Okay, we don't really accelerate real fast with this much weight in here. So we'll just wait for a nice gap in the traffic. It's the main thing really with the, uh, the buck feats that you have to take note of. Is that your uh, acceleration and braking are not uh, what you expect from a normal bike. You have to think like you're... Uh, driving a truck not a car and just like with driving a truck if you do that it's all fine and good and safe but if you think that you can accelerate away at speed or brake rapidly when you're pedaling a 200 kilo bike with everything that's in there it was 160 kilos without the sand so we're about 200 kilos loaded up then yeah, you just have to be a bit sensible Morning. But as you can see, I mean, for all that, everything all up at you know, 200 kilos, I can still pedal along fairly happily. We're doing about 18 without me really trying too hard. And it's steady enough that Caleb can play in the sand. Is that fun? 
I like having a mobile sand pit. Finner Street here had a, uh, a refuge in the middle of the traffic. It tends to be very dribbly. You often end up waiting longer than you do on Marion Road for a gap. Oh. And up the other side, there we go. And away we go. Here again, that hub's a little bit dry. Making that whining noise. So that's after having ridden nearly 1800 kilometers on it. Caleb, please stop throwing the sand away. We paid a good dollar 75 for all that sand. the other thing that goes without saying with the uh, the buck feet because the wheelbase is so long the whole bike is two and a half meters end to end that the turning circle is uh, is not very tight but you probably saw that as we we're going through the, uh, the railway maze Morning. Morning. Yeah. Yep. Just telling us that the light's on on the front, but it's powered by dynamo, so it doesn't matter. You can get through the dips a bit quicker than us, I think. people pay 50 grand for a convertible we got ours for three grand and I reckon it's much more pleasant to boot morning yeah it's a courier I wonder if that courier has dropped off our batteries got some lithium phosphate rechargeable batteries for a project at work ordered that I meant to turn up today. Yeah. We're home, aren't we, mate? Get you in the sand in the sand pit? As you can see here on the back of Caleb, we've got a rubber band holding the straps together around his shoulder, which is a good way to do it with little people, so that they don't sort of slip over their shoulders, which is a bit annoying for them, and probably not as safe. So let's get you out, mate. We'll get your helmet off. Oh yes, you can put, put more sand in there, can't you? <laughs> okay. Should we get you out? You can put your sand in the sand pit? Come with Daddy. Oh, goodness me, look at all that <laughs> sand you've spilt in there. Again, unlike the car, it doesn't really matter. Okay, Caleb, here. You help Dad, Caleb.